Right, so as promised, a, a video on the uh, second revision uh, keyboard for the Yola. Uh, there have been a lot of recent uh, developments and it seemed like an appropriate time to, uh, to do a video about this and show you guys some, some details. Uh, I would like to start off uh, with uh, the team behind uh, the, uh, the other half keyboard. Starting off with uh, myself, obviously. Uh, Kimo, you've all seen his uh, project and uh, this, uh, this face uh, everywhere. Uh, he's been an extremely uh, great help uh, to me in all uh, development areas. And recently uh, added to the team uh, Andrew, who will be uh, focusing on the keypad. Quite a, uh, an important uh, feature of the keyboard. Uh, additionally, there are some companies involved. Uh, Last the case, I will come to that uh, later. Uh, Shapeways, for obvious reasons, and uh, Yola, who have uh, been a, uh, an extreme, uh, extremely good help uh, in a lot of areas. Uh, okay, so the first revision uh, keypad uh, the project has uh, finished uh, quite a while ago. I have one uh, mangled up uh, piece right here, and I would like to go through uh, what this project was all about and what the uh, pros and cons uh, were. So, this uh, keyboard had a, a hinge that could rotate and slide, which was cool, but brought some disadvantages, mainly this is visible and ugly, and the uh, hinges are uh, quite expensive. Uh, a lot of work to uh, to put them in uh, and to uh, uh, before that uh, get them out of the the old uh, casing. So that's not good. Uh, there's this keypad here, which is an obvious off-the-shelf uh, part, which is nice for me, but it's not uh, very good-looking or uh, practical or uh, it doesn't feel uh, doesn't feel nice. But uh, it was uh, available. And lastly, uh, the connection between the both parts was like this cable connecting uh, the top and the bottom that got needs to be twisted while you slide in your keyboard, which meant that this keyboard has a very limited uh, lifetime, which uh, makes it a, a bad design and uh, not a consumer-ready product. But a lot of people were enthusiastic about it, and it was a nice uh, proof of concept. Um, so uh, that's that. I'm, uh, I'm proud of myself. I could pull this off, but uh, yeah, the product itself is not uh, really uh, not really a game changer. So for the second revision, the goal is to make a uh, keyboard that is uh, consumer ready and has a high, a, a high uh, quality uh, in it. So you've seen this, uh, this picture probably. I have one, uh, one here. I will uh, give you a quick uh, tour on uh, how this, uh, what is what. I have a, a keypad here. This is just a dummy. This is not how it will look like. This is just to have something here to, uh, to fill in this gap. There's a bottom piece uh, that uh, slides in and out. And there's a top piece that connects to the phone with printed circuit board. And that's pretty much all that is and will be visible. Um, it's not really thick, so I'm quite happy with uh, how that uh, came out. These parts are printed by Shapeways. I look, uh, I'm very happy with this quality. So, the keypads. As I said, this is a mock-up. Uh, Andrew has made this beautiful render. You have seen this, and uh, I've challenged him to uh, actually build this uh, this uh, keypad. And uh, he's uh, well well on the way, and I, have, I am very very confident uh, that uh, we will uh, make uh, something really beautiful uh, here. Uh, on the bottom of the keyboard, keyboard there is now just a blank uh, printed circuit board. Uh, and there is a room in here to be filled with, I hope wood, that would be really cool. I really love this, 
I've made this uh, this what it would look like if it was gray and had a wood uh, wood bottom. I've uh, talked to uh, Lost the Case and uh, they uh, we are discussing the possibility of a uh, uh, to make this part, which I really hope uh, will uh, uh, will work and uh, will be for a reasonable uh, price. So uh, that would be very cool and. Uh, additionally, for me, uh, construction would be easy, and it would just have a totally clean, uh, clean look on the back, which I really would like. Uh, then, I've had this uh, question on my uh, fun funky other half uh, website, this uh, weekly, uh, weekly challenge or bi-monthly uh, challenge, what, what you want. Uh, this is the uh, print circuit board, a picture with question: what these holes are for. Uh, they are now filled with these discs, which are in fact magnets. The four magnets here, and two on the back. So, Timo uh, thought that the holes were uh, for attaching uh, the other half to code rack, which is not really the goal. But yeah, it was the it was the closest to a real uh, real answer. And if you have a uh, 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 metal uh, coat rack. I have a piece of scissors here to show uh, uh, what will happen. You could actually hang it on your coat rack. So technically, Timo, you've uh, guessed uh, the right uh, right answer. So uh, please contact me and claim your claim your prize. Uh, the suggestion to uh, to add an orange peeler uh, to <laughs> to the back, I'll take that under uh, under consideration, and uh, we'll see uh, how it uh, how it comes out. But yeah, so this uh, this uh, these are magnets, uh, which means that the uh, bottom half of the keyboard can disconnect. And you can uh, just snap it back on. You can snap it off, snap it on, go down, go up. And you can do it like that. This means that uh, these two pieces will be uh, uh, available separately, but also uh, upgradable separately. If you want another keypad, you can just get another bottom piece and use it with the old base. Or if I have an upgrade to the base, which is a, um, a less complex part than the bottom, you can just upgrade your base part and attach it to your to your old uh, bottom. So the um, magnets on the back are. Uh, there's uh, room for some bigger, bigger, bigger mag magnets here, but at the moment the connection is uh, quite strong. And uh, if you uh, shake really, really hard, your phone will fall off at this point. But uh, I'm uh, confident, uh, confident it's uh, strong enough now. But uh, there will be some bigger magnets in the back, and then it will be an extremely good connection uh, between the both parts. So, uh, so yeah, for magnets. Okay, so um, as I said, you could upgrade your uh, your parts uh, separately, but uh, this also means that the bottom parts can be changed for something else. Um, you could um, let your keypad at home. So you could have just the base part if you think it's uh, too thick. Um, you could have different keypads for uh, different uh, situations or different colors, whatever you want. Or uh, very, very, very easily you could pop, pop uh, on something like this. This is a uh, picture that was submitted a while ago. I don't know if it's completely visible. But this is a uh, gamepad with some arrow keys, some AB uh, buttons, uh, and some uh, some uh, joysticks. 
you could have one base, one bottom with a keypad on it, and one gamepad bottom. Which is, uh, in uh, development uh, terms, very, very easy to make. Which uh, I think uh, uh, is really, really an advantage uh, for this, uh, this design. Uh, you can make a docking system that you, you could just click your phone on at home and you can control uh, all sorts of uh, things or charge or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the concept. Uh, please let me, let me know what you, what you think. And uh, I will be, uh, there needs to change a lot about this uh, mock-up. But uh, I'm uh, already very, very happy with this. So, in the future, uh, there are some, uh, some uh, things uh, that need to be done, obviously. For one, uh, the keypad, which is, uh, under, um, which is being designed, fine-tuned, and uh, we're looking into uh, ways to, uh, to make it. Uh, this needs to be tested. I need to uh, adjust all the things, all the details I want, and then uh, then it's already time for a second uh, mock-up and uh, some uh, testing. There are some parts coming to uh, make this into a working uh, prototype. Um, and after that, uh, when that is all installed, it is uh, time to do some, uh, um, some testing in uh, durability and reliability, which were the um, problems on the uh, revision one uh, that uh, didn't last very long. This is a uh, keyboard that is made, uh, that is designed to be a reliable product, so that's obviously uh, something that needs to be tested. Uh, and yeah, it's just uh, continuing uh, development, lots of things uh, to be done. Uh, so. I'm. Uh, you can reach me on uh, Twitter and the uh, the memo uh, forum. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I would like to do final uh, shout out to uh, to Lost the Case. They've uh, shown uh, uh, real positive interest. So uh, I hope we can uh, uh, make something uh, cool together. Uh, to uh, to Yola. Uh, I'd love to come in contact with you guys to make this, uh, make this in really large quantities. That would be very cool. So please uh, contact me. You know where to find me. Uh, let's make this happen. Uh, Andrew, Kimo, you've both uh, been a great, uh, great help, and uh, I hope we can uh, succeed in uh, making this uh, a really, really, really good product. Uh, there have been some people asking uh, if it's possible to uh, to uh, to pre-order. Uh, I have at this moment no indication of what this uh, this would uh, uh, would cost in the end, and there are some um, uncertainties, primarily about the keypad, uh, about possibilities uh, that I don't have. Uh, a green light that all the parts are uh, possible to make or to uh, to order. Uh, so uh, then I cannot uh, order uh, uh, do, do pre-orders, but I will uh, open up a, a donation uh, account. I'll put that in the links below. And uh, if you think it's really cool uh, and you want to support, then uh, then uh, that's possible. And uh, yeah, I hope to uh, to make uh, something really uh, cool uh, from this. It costs me a lot of time, but uh, I uh, really love. Uh, doing uh, doing this uh, stuff so uh, yeah let me know what you think and uh, cool. goodbye